Hi, I'm Mike Coyle with Inside Exploration. I'm here with Dinesh Kandanchatha from Albert Mining, listed on the TSX under AIIM. Thanks for taking the time with me today. Thanks very much, Mike. So what piqued your interest to join the company in the first place, Dinesh? I'm a technologist. I spent 20 years um, developing technology companies, investing technology companies, uh, building teams to execute on technology opportunities. And uh, over the course of the last year, I've been thinking about other applications for artificial intelligence and machine learning, an area that you know, I have a fair bit of experience in. In the early spring, um, some investors in Albert approached me and said, hey, you know, this is a really interesting company. Would you be interested in taking a look at it? And I spent a few months doing due diligence, meeting with the management team, really understanding how the technology was going to apply itself. I don't know anything about mining, mm -hmm. a lot about technology, don't know a lot about mining. And so I really needed to understand what was the practical application? How was how is this application going to impact the mining industry? And the conclusion I came to was that this was highly disruptive, that AI and machine learning together as technologies can transform um, how mining is done, how exploration is done particularly. There's applications also for the actual process of mining in terms of machines and, and, and operations, mm -hmm. but particularly around exploration. So, I'm an investor, an entrepreneur. When I see an opportunity to mm -hmm. get returns, I like to take advantage of those opportunities. So um, I contacted Michelle, I expressed my interest. I um, you know, talked to him a little bit about what I thought maybe could be done differently. Uh, this is a very successful company that's been around for a long time. And you know, I wanted to, make sh to give some ideas and see, see how they were vetted. The, through those conversations, uh, he, uh, he said, hey, why don't, why don't we work closer together? And uh, I said, yeah. And I, not only did I come on as chairman, but I also made a significant investment in the business. So what was the thinking behind rebranding the company? We're a technology company, Albert. And um, Al Albert Mining, as a name, doesn't reflect the marketplace, the real opportunity that the business has. Uh, the mining is one sector and one potential application of the cards technology. There are many other applications of that technology and the idea of rebranding as Windfall Geotech is to, to really reference the fact that we can find a lot of different things in the ground and there are many things of value, minerals of course, um, but there's also things like oil and gas, there's things like water, um, landmines and other military applications. So what we really wanted to do was reflect in our name and in our go-to-market strategy the opportunity for both investors, but also for customers, so we can attract the right attention and negotiate and execute on our business plan. So what does your background, um, what, what role does that play for Albert Mining moving forward? The big, a big part of what I think I can bring is a track record of scaling businesses up. Um, over the course of my 20-year career, I've generated over a billion dollars in shareholder value. Um, I've um, had two $200 million plus exits. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I, I know how this game is played, mm -hmm. and most importantly, I've played it on the field um, for in multiple industries: telecommunications, healthcare, software services. So my hope is that you know, commitment to execution, along with the experience I have, can augment the incredible um, experience. Michelle has around the mining sector. So what he brings is that in-depth knowledge that can only come from being a prospector and going up and walking the land and working with geologists and all that kind of stuff. And I can complement that with the business experience, the financial connections, the capital markets experience. So can you ex explain your new business model and how you've applied it to this new contract that you released today? Sure. The biggest challenge in artificial um, intelligence, ML, or any technology play is the fact that uh, the revenue is really structured um, immediately. So you have to go and find lots and lots of new customers. And as we know in the mining industry, there's, you know, there's a good number. There's 30,000 junior mining companies. Mm -hmm. Last year, 1,685 uh, companies did primary exploration to the tune of $10 billion. So it's a, it's a big market. Mm -hmm. But there's 1,600 companies, and so in one year. So if we were to just go with a, a pure play software play, the pricing would be very high. Like we would have to charge millions of dollars for our, our algorithm. 
it can generate those kinds of returns for our clients. But in today's capital environment, where investments are just not as prevalent as they were in, for example, 2011, $20 billion went in. Mm -hmm. 2018, nine billion. So the, half of the money is around. So that means that exploration companies need their software partners to part, uh, software vendors to partner with them. So this new model is all about not only uh, dealing with that market reality, generating short-term cash flow because that's critically important as a as a junior public companies. We need mm -hmm. to generate cash flow so that we're not relying on investors' capital in order to operate the business, um, but also building in long-term potential returns. And so, uh, what we did with Chilean Metals was we did a we did a hundred k licensing fee and then a hundred k placement. This is would be atypical for us. In this case, Michelle had done the analysis on the project and he knew it was a high potential project, so it could return a lot, potentially a lot, to our investors. Mm -hmm. So that's why we structured that deal. But we will have deals where we might charge $500,000 or a million dollars for the license, we might take no equity, or you know, we will always charge some minimum because we have to, we, we're operating a business and we have to be at a cash flow neutral or cash flow positive. But our goal is to generate not only those short term returns that a, um, a security play can do, but also give our investors the potential to really large exponential uh, returns that only an exploration company can, can do. So you just touched base on that, you're an exploration company. Is there any plans for the future to acquire your own land and do your own exploration on these properties versus just working with other companies? This is one of the, this is, when you have like a bit of a magic bullet, right? It would be crazy not to use it yourself. Mm -hmm. So, if we can find the right projects at the right um, price points, of course, we will absolutely look at it. Um, our focus is on our pure, our primary plate, which is technology. Mm -hmm. But there are many, many underfunded projects out there, or projects that are stalled that have tons and tons of data that our algorithm can can influence and potentially bring back to life. And so, it really comes down to our team, our operations team, our geologists, our um, guys like Michelle and our, and our um, technical teams to bring those projects forward to the board and the board will evaluate as we uh, look at them, A, are we able to identify targets using our, te our technology, which we have an incredible amount of faith in, are the right project conditions there? You know, are the regulatory frameworks in place? Um, um, are there any potential friction into actual developing the, the project? So all of those things. Developing a mining project and developing a technology company are different things. Mm -hmm. So we need to be really clear on those projects that we invest in and to what level, when do we sell on the project, all of those kinds of things. But we're not closing the door. So in your opinion, what separates your technology from everybody else in the market? I know it's a small market, but yeah. what really separates you from, from your competitors? I did, as part of my due diligence, look at what was available and what was out there. And um, one thing I've learned in my you know, mid-sized career in technology yeah. is that uh, there's, there's two things that uh, you know, you, you, no amount of capital can influence. One is time, and the other is data. Albert has the benefit of time. Being in business for 15 years means that, and over 70 projects, means that they have had the time to optimize their algorithm, to actually have it proven. The problem with technology is, is that you, you, only, you're, you can have the smartest developers in the world. Until they hit the test of data and they get the time to optimize, it doesn't matter how smart they are. And so that's factor number one is time it m will make Albert, in my view, succeed. Like if you're one year or two years, you still need 13 years to catch up to this. It doesn't matter how smart your guys are. Mm -hmm. You need the time because it actually takes time to run those simulations. The second thing is data. Um, the amount of data that Albert holds um, and that we have received from clients and, and that we've worked with over those 15 years is, um, you know, in the terabytes, petabytes, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And so where do our competitors get access to that store of data to optimize their algorithm? Be very, very difficult. So they would either have to grow at an exponential rate and be signing 50, 60 projects a, you know, a year. So mm -hmm. they'd have to find 70 projects in 12 months. Yeah. So it's very challenging, very, very challenging. So that leads me to believe we have a head start on the technology side where we're Maybe we need some more work, and the main reason why I'm excited about the opportunity is we need to educate the market for sure, because I think Albert's 
pardon the pun, a hidden gem, right? Mm -hmm. And so we absolutely need to educate the market on what the potential is. And then we also need to get capitalized appropriately to the, to the market opportunity. So once we get those two things resolved, I genuinely believe that you know, we will be leading the market. So in your opinion, why should investors buy into Albert Mining? The reason I would invest, I would have an investor invest, is the same reason that I invested. Uh, when you invest in companies, you invest in fundamentals, and so the fundamentals of this business are one: you have a very strong management team, and you invest in managers, not in opportunities and technologies. You invest in managers because managers decide if that opportunity will actually be realized or not. Mm -hmm. So, number one, I really believe that the management team. Um, you know, it's a bit easy because I'm on it. So, <laughs> right. So, it's very, it, yeah. it's you know, it's well positioned to execute on this opportunity. Uh, number two is that it's proven. So, like, I'm not looking to show that my technology works. I can go out and call 70 people and say, yeah, it worked for me. That's that's a big factor. That's that to me an investor should look at. The third is the fact that as a technology company, we are not limited to mining. And if you are looking at um, you know, a technology play, you want to know that that technology has application across multiple markets. Mining is the first application. Military applications are a potential second application. Oil and gas might be a third. Aquifers might be a fourth. We have the background and the data to be able to look at additional applications of the technology, which presents huge market upside for you as an investor. Um, it also de-risks you because as a technology play, you're not tied to any individual project succeeding. You get the, the reliability and the security of a pure play software with the potential upside and ROI of, a, of an exploration play or a security play or an energy play. So this is the this is the reason that like we're still very early days. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to do and a lot to execute on uh, from a to, to build investor confidence. But my view is is that you know the fundamentals are there. It's about execution and good news, I know how to execute. Well I really appreciate you taking the time with to meet with me today and uh, look forward to doing this again with you soon. So thank you very much. I really okay. appreciate your interest. Thanks so much Dinesh.